Hey guys! Hey there! We are here today in the beautiful city of Las Vegas at the Inshore Tech Connect. And with me is Anja Schöne. Thank you for being here. My pleasure, Robin. The LV of 1871 was just awarded most innovative insurer in Germany and now you're here at ITC. Why? Well, a couple of months ago we established a corporate influencer program and I'm part of the program and I'm here to cover ITC for our company. That sounds super interesting. What are your biggest successes in your corporate uh, influencer program so far? Well, there are a lot of cool guys in this corporate influencer program. I'd like to mention two of them. One is Hermann Schrögenauer. Shout out to Hermann. Our CSO and he's commenting on LinkedIn on his, uh, on his LinkedIn profile on insurance industry issues. And the other guy who's really cool is my colleague David Ebel. On his Medium blog posts you can read uh, about uh, programming things in the, our company and agile work we are doing. And um, I guess it's about hundreds of readers he has. The other thing is by establishing the Corporate Influencer Program we found a way of thinking uh, corporate communications in a new, new way because we broadened our corporate communications team, including the corporate influences. And uh, by that, we found a way to somehow recoin the sometimes old-fashioned image of insurance industry and show that we are more modern than you would think. And finally, uh, we got a lot of positive feedback uh, from the industry and from uh, other companies and so our corporate influencer team got nominated for best team of the year by the Association of German Press Spokesperson. Which is not an insurance industry um, association, but of all companies in Germany. Kind of a um, success, I think. But Anja, what do you understand actually as corporate influencing? Well, we see corporate influencing or corporate influencers as brand ambassadors. Uh, people who share their knowledge and their workday experience in addition to their normal life. By that, we have a really authentic corporate communication. We are convinced um, insurance industry does need corporate influencers even more than other industries because um, we do have a lot of difficult products, it's difficult to explain and by thus you gave an idea of what's happening behind the scenes which is very authentic and maybe even more likable. And on the other hand, corporate influences um, can have a community management. They listen to what their people, what their followers say, like uh, here on ITC. Um, we are here to get to know what are the new trends what is going on in the industry. And you share what you see. Yes, that's why I'm here. But for all the people out there that are asking themselves now, how can we set up such a corporate influencer program at our company too? What would you recommend them? Well, there are a couple of things. First of all, you have to identify the um, suitable people, people who want to communicate, who want to share their opinion and uh, the second thing is um, you have to train them. Um, you have to give them ideas on communication, on how to behave on the social media, how to work with social media. And uh, the third part is uh, give them information and guidelines on what they are allowed to communicate. And the last important thing is you have to trust them. But what do you mean with trust? Well, if you um, train your corporate influences and give them ideas on how to communicate uh, corporate messages. Um, you should trust them that they can do it right, but in their own words. And that is the most important and the most authentic thing a corporate influencer can do, because this is really trustworthy. You're here to share your story, but when should people from out there call you? Well, um, call me if you like to know how to um, identify, train and uh, coach your corporate influences and if you want to know how to integrate a corporate influencer program in your communications and marketing strategy. Anja, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. <laughs>